You know, guys, I used to be a Nintendo fan. I actually used to. I used to like Nintendo products a lot. But after this and other shit Nintendo has done, quite fucking frankly, Nintendo could burn in a fire. I wouldn't care. So, Nintendo announced the Skyward Sword HD port. Now, from what I was told by some friends, it doesn't look like they changed much. It doesn't even look like they changed the graphics. It doesn't even look like they changed the graphic style. They just did a resolution bump, and that's it. That's all. That's all they did, and their charge actually 10 extra dollars for when they originally launched the game. Now, that is fine. That's whatever. You know, Sony did that. You know, Microsoft. Everyone's done these HD ports. But, where my frustration comes in is where Nintendo decides they're going to charge people $25 about $20 plus tax and all. So you're still paying about 25 bucks For essentially fast travel. In a Zelda game that's notorious for having so much fast travel. Nintendo, by the way, is putting it behind a Amiibo. Which, of course, is going to create more FOMA. The fear of missing out. Now, I'm going to use this as an example. Imagine if I had, you know, I was developing a game. The Last of Us Part 2, for this example. I was like, okay, we want to have a key feature. Um, let's do fast travel. Let's do, you know, uh, an awesome weapon. But Sony comes up and says, yeah, you could do that. But we need to sell Funko Pops. So we're going to put a special code at the bottom of the Funko Pop here. That's like, oh, if you... Buy, you buy this Funko Pop and you confirm the code inside, whatever. Well, we'll give you we'll give you the extra weapon and an extra game difficulty mode. By the way, these days in short supply. So naturally, you got to buy, 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 buy. Nintendo loves doing this crap. They love keeping their gamers paying for... Essential, sir. Essential things. The Mass Effect trilogy Legendary Edition just came out. That had resolution upgrade. It had better textures. It had 4K assets, 60 frames per second. Guess how much that cost? Sixty dollars. It wasn't even for you know the full retail price of the next gen version. It was just sixty dollars PS4 version. And then you could play on your PS5. Boom, you got upgrade. Nintendo, how are you greedier than EA? I, I, this is why I can't trust Nintendo fans. Because they're not even talking about this. They're not even talking about, you know, this minimum upgrade that you get. And they expect you to pay $10 more, plus, you know, the Amiibo figure that has a central feature behind, hide behind it. For 25 bucks. And if they're going to bitch about us PlayStation fans have to pay $70 for a game. Hey, at least at $70 we get the fucking full game. At least the central features aren't being hit behind a freaking paywall. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe that not a single fucking YouTube channel has not talked about this that isn't on a bigger scale. I don't see, like, Woods. I don't, like, see any of these guys mentioning this. This is the most greediest practice you can have. And here's the thing. Remember how I mentioned earlier that these are in short... There's, these are more likely going to be a short supply. That's going to give scalpers more power. Scalpers are going to buy these things up by the freaking shitload. They're just like they are with PS5 and Series X's right now. And like they do with every other product. But here's the thing. Because these are might be in short supply... Because, you know, everything going on is still kind of COVID. They're going to have all the power. So they can charge wherever the hell they want. Nintendo is just feeding into this more. They're just feeding it into this constantly. They're doing this intentionally to set up their gamers for failure. And yet, all I hear is how pro consumer Nintendo is. Nintendo's so great. Oh, look. Here's Mario for the 500th time this year. Meanwhile, no news about Metroid. Now, no, nothing about Metroid. Pokemon, 
Looks like it's aged as well as milk. But hey, Pokemon, let's <laughs> see, gotta go catch that Pikachu, gotta go catch that Charmander, so people get nostalgia blind. All I can say is, guys, this is ridiculous. This is why I can't, in good conscience, support Nintendo. I don't care if they come out and announce a Nintendo Switch Pro. I don't care if they come out and apologize. Because they're going to do this shit the next second they get a chance. If they get called out for this, they'll make like a fake apology and make sure there's plenty of supply of Amiibo figures for everyone then. Just like how they promised with Mario All-Stars. By the way, remember how that went down? They said, oh, whoa, these are only, this is going to be so for a short time. Oh, look what you see happening. Scalpers are trying to sell this shit like crazy. And they removed it from their digital store, so you either give it to the scalpers or you pay $60 for it at GameStop and other retail stores because Nintendo games don't go on sale. Oh, do we forget to mention that part? Nintendo games don't go on sale as often as PlayStation or Xbox games or even PC games. No, no, no like at the most you'll get is like a $10, $10 off. $10 off for a three, oh, three awesome games. I'll admit, three awesome games. But not worth sixty dollars because it's not really that much for upgrade. Hell, I don't even think the games run at sixty FPS, and these are essentially emulators. But until next time, guys, this is that PlayStation Gamer signing out. Y'all have a good day now. Peace.